Politicians from the Cabinet Secretary's party and from mine have long bemoaned the fact that the UK government's capital investment has tended to benefit one corner of the country, the southeast of England, over all others. Does he think that the Welsh Government has a better record of achieving an even spread of investment across Wales? Well, the basic premise on which capital investment decisions are made by the Welsh Government is not geographic. Um, our ambition is to invest in those uh, capital projects that provide the best return uh, for Wales. And it is the quality of the project, rather than their geographical location, that would be the primary uh, determining factor. Uh, that said, there are good ideas and good projects in all parts of Wales. Uh, and our uh, capital plans, uh, as set out in the budget yesterday, I think demonstrate that wherever there are important jobs to be done and ideas that merit investment, uh, this government will pursue them. Yes, but you know, does that explain the vast gap that we see in, 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 in the Cabinet Secretary's own figures? He's provided them in a written question uh, between the different regions of Wales. I want to just give one example. I mean, the, 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 the spend per capita, Welsh Government, uh, capital investment uh, over four years last four years, Mid and West Wales, is half the over £1,000 per head figure for South East Wales. And next year, it's projected a fall to 29%. Nothing can justify that level of gap. And, you know, I have to say, we, we heard in the chamber y yesterday, I, I would say, you know, a rather sneering tone of metropolitan provincialism attacking my party for at least trying to get some concession, some investment in the regions and the constituencies uh, that we uh, represent. Uh, and uh, we make no apology. We make no apology for equalizing uh, the level of investment. He is a more thoughtful politician than some of his colleagues. And by the way, those attitudes were present on the Conservative benches as well, also from members that either represent or live in the most pr prosperous part of Wales. I, I would ask him this. Will he commit to equalising the level of investment across Wales so that it's not left up to my party year in, year out, to fight for bloody scraps at the bottom of anyone's pork barrel. Uh, well, sorry, uh, look, look there, there is a serious point in, uh, in what the member uh, has to say, which is that we all need to recognise that all parts of Wales need to feel that this National Assembly is attentive to their needs and that what goes on here results in decisions that, where they can see the benefit in their uh, lives. Uh, where I think he goes wrong is in trying to portray the decisions we make as not having uh, any interest in that uh, topic. Of course they do. Uh, that's why you see the major uh, investments that you see in all parts of Wales. It isn't surprising that population how it makes a difference to investment. The vast bulk of the population of Wales lives in certain parts of Wales, and it's inevitable that some of the major investments uh, will follow uh, that. But is, no, 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 the, the per capita figure doesn't, um, doesn't uh, counteract what I just said, because cumulatively, those per capita expenditures will result in the, in the sort of agglomeration of investment in particular parts. But the, if, if the serious point he is making is, is that do we need to make sure that we invest everywhere where there are important things that need to be done and that we can demonstrate to people across Wales that we take their needs uh, seriously, then that's a, a point on which I would not disagree with him. The only crumb of comfort that I as a Welsh nationalist can take from the, the kind of figures that I've laid out is uh, uh, that show the Cardiff centricity, I think, of, of uh, leadership uh, and unfortunately the Labour Party, is at least one region of Wales should be doing well. But we see that the same chronic mismanagement here. And I ask him in his role as local government minister, is he aware uh, of the, uh, the fact that the split in the Cardiff Labour Group now threatens to endanger the entire 1.2 billion city deal. What does it say for the Cabinet Secretary's preferred model of regional economic development, the Joint Committee model, if Labour cannot even work jointly among itself on one authority, how is it going to work across party 
across nine or uh, ten different authorities as well. I think the, the member's line of question this afternoon uh, rather risks him being less of a Welsh nationalist than a particular fraction of Welsh, of Wales uh, nationalism. Um, I am confident that the votes that are necessary in ten different local authorities across Wales to secure the governance arrangements which will allow us to move forward with the city deal, that those votes will take place and will take place successfully uh, across South Wales over coming weeks.